when you think about the disruption that's going on in the world, and when I talk about disruption, I'm talking about, you know, positive disruption with innovation and new technologies and that sort of thing. And also the sort of disruption that we're all familiar with wars and pandemics and climate change, et cetera, et cetera. With all the disruption that is going on in the world, there is much more pressure on leaders to be reactive because there's so much happening. There's so many things to deal with. So encouraging leaders to think beyond that, think beyond the problems of today and to have in mind the purpose and the vision of where we're heading and using that so that we can be consciously creative. In fact, the people that make the leadership circle available, it's an organization called the leadership circle, and that they talk about creative competencies. Well, what does the creative refer to? It's creating those conditions. It's all here. That's what leaders are doing is they're consciously creating the conditions for success. And the way they get hijacked is by moving into reactive mode, which is dealing with the problems of the day. If you deal with the problems of the day and don't lift your eyes above the horizon to see the direction that you're traveling in, well, guess what? You'll end up in a different place. And those skills are relationship skills, building relationships with other people, with different stakeholders. It's also about self-awareness and it's also about systems awareness as well. So there's a lot of similarity in the leadership circle to the things that we talk about, putting values and behaviors and structure and everything else into where we're, into where we're heading. But it's a fabulous instrument for getting some concrete data and 360 degree appraisal data about how a leader shows up so that they can be consciously developmental in their career.